gentlemen, this is Democracy Man of Nam no, Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. We are live with some war zone, some zone of war. Um, and today we are using a weapon which I alluded to and slightly tickled on the release day. And that is the Bruin. The Bruin. It's it's back. And I gotta tell you, it's quite naughty. Um Bruin is clearly, in my view, right now, the best long-range meta in the game. Um, the SOA is very good, but the Bruin is definitely more effective over the longer ranges. Um, you're going to have to ignore the fact that my game has just launched in 60 FOV there, because I was taking some screenshots earlier for thumbnails. Teehee. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a quick look at the Bruin. Let me show you guys what this thing cooks with. Um, the build we've got is kind of an AR hybrid, um, but the nuts thing about the Bruin is just, it's so stable over range. Like, you're, you're just not really going to miss a target, like, even over, like, huge distances. Um, so, although it isn't the most lethal weapon in the game in terms of, like, general TTK, um, it's pretty much, like, a given that this thing can deal pretty consistent damage over longer ranges. Um, and if you really want to max out your efficiency with the Bruin, it's always worth remembering, aim assist works up to about, like, 200 meters so a little wiggle left and right whilst you uh do some opening of the fire uh, is always working always a good way to guarantee yourself a little extra aa to be a bit more accurate um so that's the build we're gonna couple it not with the amr9 today i think we're gonna go with the the hrm9 uh or the hammer uh, i'm gonna save this one as as yeetus so that i know it's mine um, and also, uh, happy International Women's Day, guys. Um, to the... Hold up, wait, hold up. Alec, making making any kind of joke on International Women's Day is very, very thin ice place to do. Uh, so don't do that. Um, <laughs> uh, happy International Women's Day to the 1.7% of you at home watching. 1.7%. Let's go, baby. <laughs> that's, if that's not progress, I don't know what... And to be fair, it used to be 0 0.3, so we love that. Um, yeah, really cool day. Um, obviously, if you got any friends, family, partners, significant others, let them know you appreciate them. Uh, I did a little thread over on Twitter of a couple of content creators I watch in the COD space who you should definitely check out. But uh, let's dive on in. Uh, views on Delta Force. I saw the Delta Force gameplay. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but isn't that just Battlefield 2042 in a different color palette? <laughs> Like maybe that's maybe that's a bit too blunt of me. Um, like it, it genuinely looks like somebody said, "Let's make Battlefield 2042 again, but slightly different." Um, so I'm curious to see how that pans out. Uh, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how it's gonna go. It looks cool. I'm always down for new new shooters in the space, and I'm always down for ones that can kind of bring back something new. Um. So, I hope it does well. I hope Delta Force does well. I'm just not sure. It's one of those free-to-play games, right? Like, it's one of those free-to-play games. Whenever something tells me it's free-to-play, um, it means that I don't, I don't know, like, uh, I don't know what it's, like, whether it's going to be, you know, worth it. Because um, you just never know with the mechanics of it. Like, it looks like Battlefield, but free. Whether or not that works out, I don't know. Um, we also have a sponsorship stream tomorrow. So we are live on Saturday. Um, we are normally... Well, we were going to do it today, but they need to send me a couple of links before it gets going. But I'll show you what I've got anyway, because it's kind of cool. Um, this is... Oh, oh, a very chunky power cord. Uh, this is the Acer, uh, Acer Predator Helios 16 that they've sent me. It's a, a brand spanking new laptop, um, which has surprisingly overpowered specs. Uh, this thing has a, an i7 or i9 13700 in it. Um, so 13th gen Intel, uh, a 4080, and... Um, a few other bits and pieces. Um, so they sent me that. I'm downloading some stuff on Game Pass for it right now. Um, but it's it's pretty meaty. Got a really good airflow at the bottom as well. Uh, and a really nice keyboard layout. I really like the keyboard layout on this. And also, rear I.O. 
Um, I'm a big fan of rear I.O. So having rear I.O., HDMI, and USB-C, I like that. Um, so yeah, we'll be checking this out at some point on Saturday. Uh, we will also be giving away... Uh, we will be giving away a Acer machine. Use this time for some target Real things coming so definitely worth uh, sticking around for tomorrow. Uh, so there'll be stuff going on with that. We will we'll be doing our regular Warzone stream. Then at the end of the stream, we'll be giving away some Acer products. And we'll also be playing, I believe, Valorant. Uh, because Valorant is on Xbox Game Pass, which is part of the promotion. So, yeah. Look forward to it. Um, it was supposed to be today, but unfortunately, like, there's like a, a link for the giveaway that wasn't quite working properly yet. So they just need a bit more time. So we'll do it tomorrow. We will do some brewing today. I have no idea who's online today, so I have no idea whether or not anybody is going to be joining us. Um, who knows? Who knows? I'm a big fan of rear I.O. I, it's the one thing that I think all laptops should have come with. Rear I.O. <clears throat> uh, the aim controller announcement already happened, Martin. Um, it is the inclusion of uh, new thumbsticks, all effect sensors. Uh, right. Let's get down to business, shall we? It's solos, it's Bruin, and it's bloody solos. Um, we need bounty in a zip line. Bounty in a zip line. We will go for that. I think you can get it shipped to Australia from the US store, Martin, but just be aware, obviously, there'll be import taxes on that. Same with the guys in the UK, like, there's, well, there's just generally import taxes. <laughs> Right, we're gonna give this uh this here bounty a go. I just knew two of you were gonna push that. I just knew. You know, I, I'm I'm a knower, one might say. Um Right, let's go grab this bounty. Grab a little bunty. too bad. Uh, he's not too far away. I would like an SMG before we make this push, though. One thing I'm noticing in the ground loop pool, especially, is if you try to make a play with two ARs, you just... You, you do suffer. Um, it's something that I've made a lot of errors with personally recently. Like, if you haven't got good ground loop, just, just genuinely, don't bother. Like, it, it's not worth dying out early because you just don't have the gear to make a play. Um... gonna cross on over here they're not super far away anyway so we got we got a bit of time here uh to find what we need keep finding munitions boxes we are on radar i'm gonna run around with the bruin because the bruin does have a better ttk in hand uh, M13B, MTZ. We just need any sort of SMG. First AR, absolutely not. We're about to be pushed. Enemies dropping into the AO. Oh god, god damn it, dude! How hard is it to find an SMG? Bro, scoured high and low for this SMG that doesn't exist. There's a guy above me. I can hear him shuffling. There 
there's somebody on my head who's just opened a door to slow walk down. Bloody hell. Only took like four business days. Uh, do I have enough time for that bounty? Maybe if I'm super quick. Okay, probably not. Probably not. We probably won't get this in time, but that's okay. Guys, like, he's vaguely in this area, but he could be ground floor. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'm just going to try and go get my loadout drop because we're early enough into the game that. Oh, hello. What are you meant to do against that? What are you even meant to do against that? I don't know why they added those drones to the game, bro. They are... They're just as bad as cluster mines, in my view. Like, Call of Duty loves adding things to this game that basically stop people having to shoot their gun. It's like, yeah, bro, let's put one more thing in, guys. Please. I mean, that wasn't quite the ragdoll I was expecting. Oh, I don't like mosquito drones at all, Oliver. They're just, they're just, they're just a cheese mechanic again. Like, never been a fan. Never, ever been a fan. Somebody shoot. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. God damn, dude. Someone get me warm. Oh, well, we had the gulag. Here. That's kind of why I landed back there anyway. I kind of knew there was a good chance I'd die, but I knew I had a gulag on me, so we're chilling. Also, didn't get aim assist on that, which is a little bit annoying, but what can you do? <sighs> yes, did see Bredman doing a solo nuke in quads last night. Very cool. Very, very cool. We'll definitely be checking that out on the channel at some point. Probably one of the harder things to accomplish in this game. Not doing too badly here, cash wise, so I might just try and loot up a building quick. Could probably piece together a loadie here fairly quickly.
Let's have a look. There'll be some loot under. Uh, I mean, we're not far away. People flying towards a buy station, so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Why are we not auto picking these up? Okay, apparently the door didn't want to open it. We've got more than enough cash now, but. I'm more than likely going to say somebody will camp this fire station. Yep, there we go. Now is not the time. Oh my god, dude. I did not see him. I genuinely did not see him. Good god. <sighs> Good god, man. Bro just blended in. God, this is such a cringe way to play COD. Yeah, that's it. You deserve death. Go on, finish. Execute him. Shoot his body as well, bro. Start shooting his corpse, please. <laughs> ah, so cringe, bro. People who play shields in this game, like, you are just cringy. Do you know what, bro? I I I'll fully back out. You don't think I will? I'll back out the the bloody Giga Chad. <laughs> I'll get I'll get that new sword just to kill Riot Shielders. <laughs> Not that it matters because like this is the thing like a lot of people are like oh yeah cool a new shield a new sword that kills Riot Shielders and it's like yeah you mean a shield that's only gonna work if they don't stun grenade you six times which is what they're gonna do. It's like, oh yeah, what, what a great balancing mechanic, guys. I have to carry it around a bloody sword to a gunfight. <laughs> like, like what? <laughs> like, also, fun fact, that riot shielder didn't give me high alert, which means that that's also broken because for whatever reason, it's providing a filter. So, unless he had cold-blooded, which... Very peculiar way to play. Ah, oh, it's just nuts, yeah. It's so nuts. Right, right shields just shouldn't be in the game. Like I'm I'm tired of talking about should they have durability, should they have this, should they have that. They just shouldn't be in the game. It gave me high alert, but it didn't give me the correct directional high alert. It wasn't properly from behind or to my back. Like it was it sometimes appeared and sometimes didn't. Like it was as if he was looking at me through a window or like a wall. 
Like, I honestly genuinely believe at this point, like, there's just no point talking about durability, talking about slowness, talking about should it be this, that, and the other. They just need to go. Like, Riot Shield should not be in the game. Like, they should never, ever be in COD. They should never have been added to COD. And if you use them in solos, you're shit at COD. That's, that's literally just it. Yeah, it appeared for literally like a flash schlock, even though it should have stayed like it should have the highlight should have stayed on the whole time. If somebody's staring at you, the highlight should, which is what it does, highlight stays orange if somebody's looking at you. Whereas in the case of the shield that it flashed for half a second, which implied that he wasn't staring at me, implied he was outside the building. So it's double busted. <laughs> If you run a riot shield, you shouldn't be able to use tacticals and lethals. That that should 100%. If they want to try and keep them in the game and balance them, no tacticals and lethals. No tacticals and lethals, and you should move at about half the speed of a regular player. They should be, if, if they want to balance them, they should be a way for you to move from A to B and potentially keep yourself safe. But they should never, ever be allowed to use aggressively. No chance at all. I can finally use the Bruin. I can finally use the Bruin. Hopefully we get some squad gameplay today. I don't mind solos, but I definitely prefer playing in a squad format. It should, you shouldn't have to have a certain ammo type, though. You shouldn't have to have a certain piece of equipment, a certain ammo type, a certain this, that. And you shouldn't have to carry a sword, like, you know? It, it should just be that they shouldn't be how they are, you know? Because right now, if you're playing solos, you basically... You have four equipment slots because you have to stow like 16 different types of explosive for some dude who's going to use a shield. And that's assuming you don't get stunned six times before you even have a chance to respond. Which is a very real possibility. Let's give it a go. Uh, try go for this bounty. This place is weird. I don't know why a lot of people land in Old Town. Like, a lot of people land in this area for whatever reason. Even though there isn't a huge amount of loot in Old Town, it seems to be a fairly popular drop. Why is it with the ground loop pool on this right now? The Takaradake is not terrible, but there we go. I don't like it. I would definitely like to see a ground loop pool up there at some point. I feel like I'm running into a lot of weapons that you just can't really use. Yeah, Old Town is surprisingly popular. I'm not really sure why. It just is. What do we reckon this guy is? All bounty targets destroyed. 
Okay, that kind of answers that one. We'll take that. I did get shot at, but I am going to try and source a load out from here. I think the biggest difficulty with solos is you run into a lot of different play styles. You run into a lot of different play styles and people who will approach situations very differently. And I think adjusting to that pacing can actually be really hard to do. Like, you will run against people who will just sit in the corner of a room and won't move. And you will equally run into people who want nothing more than to full sack you out of the game. I mean, variety is the spice of life. But I honestly think that's kind of the hardest part of solos. It's just the fact that it changes so much in one game. You got a hundred different people who are going to play the game like 40 or 50 different ways, you know what I mean? Definitely makes it more interesting. Right. This guy was last seen here. He's dead. Oh, hello. We have to play the height here because that's a terrible cross to make and also he will also play the height because he can transition to the internal part of the building. You got a drop you know? inbound. I've just got to be careful here because this could get quite one-dimensional. Thank you very much for the super chat, by the way. Appreciate you, Chun. My apologies that I missed that. Thank you very much, man. Hope you're doing well. You're not the guy I'm fighting, but... curious to see how this guy's going to play this. I mean, the bomb drone is not... It's not really an intelligent play, really, because I, I, like, I know where you are. Vaguely. You know where I am. Maybe he just doesn't want to play this at all. Once... Could be the answer. Maybe Broski is just terrified and looked a lot more confident from distance than... Honestly, he doesn't look like he wants to move. In that kind of scenario, when he's just sort of in a building like that, if I press the building, like, if I press the building, he'll know where I am quite easily through footsteps alone. Not a clean. That's not a clean fight. If I try to take that, that's going to go badly for me. It can feel like that sometimes. It's like coming up against Daisy Bandits. This is a strange lobby. Nobody... Nobody really wants to move by the looks of it.
leaving the safe zone. It's a weird lobby because people are refusing to move. And because of that, there are 47 people, 48, 40 whatever, alive in fairly small circles. Yeah, I kind of feel like I have to slow this game down a bit because nobody else is playing to my pace. Not that most people do anyway. Like, very few people will play to my pace in this game, but people are playing slower than usual would be the word I would use. I might try and get some UAVs here. Watch, watch. I mean, he died. Watch him get full aim assist. Ah, oh, come on. I know he got. Uh, he definitely got full aim assist at the end of that. Smoke grenades are very busted. I mean, I know he died, but. I'm like 90% confident on the jump around there. He got full aim assist. Give or take. The amount of bloody accidental grenade stopping systems I have purchased because the menu lags has been insane. The menu lag on that buy really needs to be resolved. Like, I've bought more PDSs or APS systems in the last week, I think, than I have ever in Call of Duty. I think you would have enjoyed that. Uh, kind of no point holding a gulag entry kit at this point. 
They finally acknowledged the texture bug last night. Passion. They acknowledged the texture bug on Twitter. They were like, hey guys, we're aware of low res texture streaming into the game. And I was like, yes. Finally. I mean, here's the thing, right? Like, I've kind of got no incentive to move at the minute. I'm probably not going to move. I mean, no one's... This this game's played extremely right. No one's going to move. God damn, I'm clean. Now, these final circles are going to be positively dreadful. This is going to be awful. This is, this is literally the worst circle imaginable. And there are a fair number of people alive for a circle with 13 people. Like, this has got to be quite feasibly the worst circle you could picture for this. Oh, f fuck this game so hard.
Fuck this game so hard, man. God damn, dude. God damn, dude. People wanted me in that one, eh? I went for a little double bait on the smoke across. Basically, the dude got a hit marker. He got a hit marker on the um, drill charge. So he would have assumed I was in the tower, which is why he was holding the angle he was on the edge. So by baiting the double smoke and dropping down onto the truck, he wouldn't have audibly heard me fall. How'd I get sniper? Um... <laughs> He wouldn't have audibly heard me fall, um, but he would have heard the double smoke and he probably would have panicked. I'm breathing deed, honestly. We love this. We love that. We are cooking. We are cooking. Slowly but surely. That's not a bad win. Like, it. It's just, yeah, it just is what it is. Like, it's it's a weird. Solos can be a really weird dynamic, like going from different pacing changes and stuff. My hands are actually kind of cold at the minute, which I think is contributing towards me shooting a bit whiffy. Mm. I'll tell you what, chat. I'll tell you what banged yesterday. I went out for a, for a cheeky little Italian with a friend of mine. Um, pumpkin ravioli. Oh my word. Pumpkin ravioli. Outrageous. Just, it's just, it just, it just slaps. I don't know who in Italy invented it, but... What a geezer. Absolute god tier. 
So if you're ever in Kensington, there's a place called Grotto. Would highly recommend. Um, would would highly recommend. Wine was good. Wine was good. Uh, that was an espresso martini at the end, Gurgeon. Uh, it had to be done, you know. A little pick-me-up slash... I mean, technically, it's an accelerant and a depressant, right? So a win is a win. A win is a win, folks. Speaking of a win is a win, we should probably try win this solos game. Probably not the worst idea. Flight pass looking decent. Dear me. Will I play Fortune's Keep today? Um, I mean, I would like to check out the Bunker Buster at some point, but I just... Like, is the Bunker Buster bomb actually any good? I mean, I'm glad they didn't add it to Big Map, if I'm being perfectly frank. Because um, it would have really chilled things. And I think they know that too. Right. It's a bloody solos. It's a... Uh, Top of Old Town finish, probably. Like, if I was to guess, it's probably going to finish, like, here. Off the top of my head. A lot of people ask me how I know this. Um, the zone's already pulled north, but part of it's off the map, so it will always pull back on itself to some extent. Um, so I think it's going to finish around here. That would be my, my guesstimation, if you will. Um, I might actually play, I might play for this cash building, potentially. Um, I'm going to play for this cash building next to a bounty. I'm going to see how it goes. Little durable vest, that's always a good start. Um, I'm gonna throw this down straight away just because I didn't hear anybody land with us, but it's not impossible. I mean, there's a guy across the way there that we can see. This is why cash buildings are really worthwhile. Even, like, even in solos, it's not necessarily the amount of money you get, it's just the sheer extra resources you find, like vests, self revives. Like, you know, obviously the cash is good too, but. Ghost vest, there we go. Arguably the most important vest in the solos. Haven't really gotten a good gun here. That guy's just gonna zip. I think I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna play a zip line towards the buy station over here and see if I can just quickly pull together 2.5k. Um, just because... Up until that moment, I did not have a gun, my bro. I like to stow a Gulag entry kit on death because it just it can work out in your favor if you play it right. We're about one grand away from getting what we need, so that's good. Cool. We got loading money. Perfect. We are going to pop one of those here. We're going to pull this in. And then I'm going to pop another one up. Why? Because I'm giving myself maximum security whilst I get my own bloody loady. Because I can. 
Cool. We're going to play interior for a sec. I'm just going to pop a little muni down. Uh, we're going to get some extra resources like thermites on the board because I am worried about riot shielders. We're going to play north. We're going to play into the main building on Old Town. Which I think I'll use the zip line here just to get a bit of a read on the rooftop of that building before I make the push across. I think there are people there. On the map, it appeared that people were there. Start walk we're going to walk this segment. <clears throat> yeah, someone above me. You heard his guardian undeploy itself there, but there's also somebody clunking around here. half expecting somebody to push up the ladder as they heard the thermies come in so that's kind of what i'm looking for here i'm gonna move more northward i think this building attracts a very unnecessary amount of attention and plus i don't have audible range on the whole building itself so if somebody does push me i wouldn't be able to hear it just gonna play in here gonna grab some resources Never going to say no to a portable radar. That will come in especially handy if somebody pushes me. Never going to say no to that either. I've already got one Gulag entry kit, so that's good. It's always worth getting your passive loot up. You know, there's no harm in it. Um... The looting system in this game is not great. I can't lie to you, chat. It is not the one. I think this guy might have been cheating. Um, he does He does not have a radar, and he does not have... Uh, he doesn't have a bloody... What you call it? Baby monitor. So him hearing that rotation whilst there's a thermite down, the odds of that are very, very low. Very, very low. And he, he also pre-fired the stairwell despite not seeing me so i'm probably willing to bet that that guy might have been a little sussy um there's no way he really heard that drop down whilst the thermite was basically inside his ear hole um yeah i just don't see it happening Not 100% confident. Definitely not going to report him because I, you know, I can't be certain. Um, but just a very interesting approach on that play. The odds of him hearing that jump down with a thermite in the room are, are very, very low. Very, very low. This guy might climb this, and if he does, I might be able to get a pick on him. He's definitely seen me. If he's sniping, I need to be careful here. Nah, he still wouldn't have heard that, even with Flex. Not with a Thermite in the room with him. There's no chance. Not a drop down of that minimal amount. Because it wasn't a full one-story drop down. It was a drop down onto a stairwell, which is like a third of the volume. 
Um, so to pre-peak all three angles successfully, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really want to burn this UAV, but I think I will. This guy's going to land on my head. This is the same dude, by the way. I'm deliberately going to lay down in a very obscure position here. This will prove my point. If he's walling, he is going to pre-fire the shit out of me. If this, if this is the same guy, which I think it is, he is going to pre-fire the shit out of me. I'm even going to double bait him. Might be okay. Might be a different dude. We'll see. Okay, we're on radar now, so somebody's going to know where. The frustrating thing is I haven't heard this guy rotate, so I can't make the assumption that I'm now safe in this building. He's on the other side of this door. Still playing roof. Interesting. Big man, are you attempting to wall bang me through the floor? Because it's not going to work. Like, with all due respect, like, that's just never going to happen. You might have to change your username to Master Beta. Can't lie. Yeah. You just enjoy shooting your gun, don't you? You're just having a whale of a time. Be advised, enemies deployed a buy station. Brother, you can keep playing hopscotch with that top door all day long. Like, uh, what do you think? Do you think I'm do you think I'm dumb enough to assume that you've left that roof?
Oh dear. Sorry. Okay, that window doesn't have physics, duly noted. like three or four people on this building. I don't understand what's even occurring at this point. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. No? Anyone? I mean, fuck me, there's like four people here. Come on, guys. Have some, have some decorum, at least. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. You know I'm gonna fire your gun? Come on, dude. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Yeah, it's, it's the same guy, I think. I'm not sure. <laughs> There's like four dudes in that building. <laughs> it's so weird. I got this is what solos is, bro. It's just the strangest experience you'll ever have. Oh dear. Like I've literally just had four dudes, a three to four dudes, sit in the same building, all decide that no one wants to push everyone, and then in return, all of them are gone. You know what we're gonna do, lads? After we sit in this corner for the whole game. <laughs> one of us is going to push one, and then another one's going to push another. Solos needs to be studied, bro, I'm telling you. Nah, the, the airstrike got me because that window doesn't have proper physics values. Um, that's all there is to it, really. I've said this before, and I've, I've said it, say, well, for explaining game dev terms to a lot of you. Um, basically, whenever they put these maps together, they obviously apply textures and they apply physics properties to every single asset in the game. So that cardboard or that, that piece of wood does not have the correct physics value applied to it. It's just a texture. Which is why I would also get high alerted through that window, by the way. Like, so if somebody looked at that window and I was there... I would get high alerted from that. I mean, the play of all plays here really is just to vaguely sit in this direction. Requesting counter UAV. Copy. Counter UAV is blocking enemy recon. Prop your skin, isn't it, Mother Dragos? Enemy soldier incoming. I love the audio changes, but it has made solos very sound hoary, I will say that. Nah, you're fine. Fun fact, if you can see the bottom of the water, you'll lose all of your health by like 10 HP. If you can't see the bottom of the water, you'll take no damage. I'm gonna make a push on somebody, it should be now.
Yeah, Daniel, the point is that you're not meant to go down through a window. If the window's sealed, you're not meant to go down. The reason you go down is because they, in the process of making the map, they don't apply the correct physics value to a certain texture. Or a certain penetration value to a certain texture. This is a terrible zone. See this guy in a good day. Done. Did I not just pick up resources off of that teaser? I'm gonna to be toxic and I don't care. Why? Why? Because I can. Why? Because if you're a riot shielder, you deserve it. On God, I don't care. Like, do not care. I was trying to bait him into using his resources, which is what he did. He kept one stun. I was trying to bait him, like, if he got throwing knives on me, doesn't matter, because he can't, he can't get the finish. By the time he switches weapon, I just go back into cover, so. We'll take that, two solos in a row. I, I thought I'd picked up a thermite. Um, I thought I'd stowed a thermite from the munitions box. So I thought I had like another one or at least another two, but apparently I didn't. I hate Riot Shielders. I absolutely despise Riot Shielders. Like, there's just no way, you know? Like, th there will never be a point in my life where I go, you know what, man? Riot Shielders are good people. No, I don't care. You're allowed to be toxic to Riot Shielders. I'm, I'm putting that, I'm putting that into the world right now. 
You are absolutely allowed to be toxic to any riot shielder in Call of Duty whenever you want. It's on par with people using grenade launchers. It, no, do you know what? Being a riot shielder in Warzone is on par with people who go into stuff like Das House and sweat with a longbow. That That's what it is. That's what it is. Them, them bros right there, you're trying to level up your silly little guns in Das House 24-7, and you've got some geezer 360 sliding around corners. That That's on, that's what it is. <laughs> oh dear. Do you know what I think they should do? They should do, um. They should. Do you know what would be funny? Like, look, I don't like Riot Shields, but it would be funny if they did a solos mode where everybody had Riot Shields. So you just watched Geezers having a punch off at the end of the game. Can he hit the snipe? Hope you're doing well, Frank. Good to see you. I think they call that a solo YOLO, no? I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. I don't think we have anybody online today. At all, which is mad. I think maybe Benny Central is doing some Ram 9 stuff on small map but that's about it but that's about it and that's fine why because that means i get to play more valorant today and i'm a dj um, i've got to tell you chat it's moving that way i'm becoming i'm becoming a valorant sweat in my off time You're up, we're out in fire, bye. We ain't even did it. <sighs> That's my Gray's impression. Do you know what? This is a really stupid idea, and I'm probably going to die, but I'm going to land on it. This is... Do you know what? Hold up. I might try and do an intelligent here. Someone come and arrest me. Someone come and arrest me. James, thank you very much for the two, bro. I appreciate you. Someone come and arrest me. I'd like to apologize to the courts. I think I deserve to go to prison for that one. I'm sorry, face hamster. Today wasn't your day, bro. You wouldn't want to kill a face hamster now, would you? Unless you're the new owner of FaZe, because by the sounds of things, he's basically going to slaw that place up and down, but... Hey! There we go. 
I might play towards top down. Oh. A, a chal of ego varieties is about to occur on that bloody... <laughs> oh, they're beefing. Good lord, they're beefing. R7, thank you for the two months. Rock on, thank you very much for the channel, private guys. I appreciate you all. Put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse. You there, good sir. Below me. How's your day been? Look, you know where I am. I know where you are. Like, there's there's no need for hostility. We can be friends. I mean, tr trying the ladder, I respect it. I can't lie. I respect your hustle. Um, Not the worst idea in the world. During the smoke grenade as well. Using the smoke to mask your footsteps and ladder steps. Yeah, love that from you. Your cock might be huge. That's what I've heard. Um. Oh, we've got another competitor in the fray. You there, good sir. Are you also ready to receive my limp penis? I see you know your judo. Now look, I know where you are. You know where I am. How about we just thug it out and come to terms, you know? You got a geezer landing on your head, by the way. And he's got a redeploy pack, so he is coming back. Big man, tell him, tell him what's happening. Now, I'm going to throw a smoke grenade and leave, okay? And if you're a good guy, you're going to let me do that. All right? Okay? Why are you a kitten? I didn't know he was downstairs. Do I go for the redeploy pack? Why have I spawned here? I'm going to do something stupid, and that's okay. Discord kitten, I've returned. I've returned. Discord kitten, no! <laughs> oh dear. Good god, that dude is playing. We're playing COD, that dude's playing Rainbow Six. That dude's playing Tom Clancy Shield Team 6 Operations, bro. If I go for my Lodi, there's a very good chance I'm just going to die. I'm definitely going to die. Why? Because somebody is redeploy packed on my loadout. Are you seeing that? God damn. Oh, we're in the trenches right now, guys. Uh, I might just look for some cash, I guess. I mean, why not? Of course he double baited. it. Should I go back to Discord, Kitten? Would it be wrong to me to return to Discord, Kitten, and see how he's doing? I think Discord Kitten's about to be landed on. Discord Kitten is being landed on. Should I spectate the Chronicles of Discord Kitten and see what happens to him? Oh, he's pushing into the building. Discord Kitten, I'm back!
guys, 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 hug it out, please. No one has to die today. Except for Discord Kitten. He's in the middle of the floor. You should definitely kill him. That's just a rumor I've heard. Don't run to the buy station. Yeah, now run back. Go on. Tell us how you really feel. I can see you going up the concrete stairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Look, we get it. You're on the half-broken castle thing. Discord kitten, how's, how's life? How you doing? What's been on the agenda lately? <laughs> this guy might just... I've got to spectate him. This guy, I have to spectate this creature. <laughs> I have to see what this man does for the rest of this game. I need to understand him. <laughs> this guy might genuinely be the most fascinating example of why Solos is the worst mode in the world. He's about to, he's going to restock. He's about to put two more pies down. Oh dear. This man has caused therapy to other people. He's baiting a smoke. What a giga chad. He's baited a smoke. Oh my god, dude. You're about to witness single-handedly a man who this is this is a guy who has been killed by enough pies in warzone that he has become what he hates do you know what i mean he has just bought and an, an, i would not be surprised if he buys another munitions box this man right here has been killed by so many pies during his time of Warzone that I am 99% confident he is embracing what he despised. What the fuck? Wait, what? Didn't he just down him? Can I get a VAR? Can I please get a VAR? Didn't he just down him? Did that man just stand straight back up? I don't understand. I thought he downed him. No, no way is he throwing away my Bruin. He mustn't. Mr. Discord Kitten, you mustn't do that. Come on, lad. He proned. Wow. That is a hell of a duck out. That geezer deserves, like, a Smoothman gold medal. Oh, he's found another pie in a box. Nah, this guy's actually going to cause therapy. Like, there's there's no way. Like, like, I might invoice him for my therapist. Like, there's just no way. There's absolutely no way. And the worst part about it is that he's really genuinely thinking about it. Now, I don't want to be judgmental, but I'll say this. I reckon when he has his first normal gunfight, he is going to crumble like a deck chair. Because bro probably has forgotten what it feels like to fire his gun at this point. Um, or what it's like to move. That being said... That being said, I I feel like, you know when they do documentaries on Ted Bundy, right? Now, look, I understand that's quite an extreme comparison, but 
Do you reckon this is a guy who's just like been shunned by society and decided that he had been killed by too many pies that he himself must become the problem? Do, do we reckon that's the case? Frank, thank you very much for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen. He forgot how to fire his gun. I repeat. He forgot how to fire his gun. He forgot how to fire his gun. I said it and it happened. I said it and it happened. Bro went from zero to zero, let's be real. But I said it and it happened. Wait, this guy is This guy's got thirty nine thousand dollars. I am confused. This is why Solos is so bizarre. This man has $39,000. How do you even get $39,000 in Solos? There's a guy in this building. You can hear that. He's bottled the jump up. He's being landed on. I, I think he's just realized that. This guy is about to get tag teamed in a way that he's not going to appreciate. He is becoming the sandwich filling. Somebody else is also running towards him. Did, was that an ego chow from Discord, Kitten? I think it was. Well, it's because he's got his gas mask on, which is why I never put mine on. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. He is 47 thousand bajillion dollars that's a good kill he is he is doing he's playing contain quite well here that's windy that's good sniper in the distance sniper might decide to focus on him sniper is probably going to take this dude's head off if he's not careful not proning whilst he gets his uh, ammunition doesn't need to he's decided he's a giga chad Oh, that guy sniped back. Big man is pushing up 47k. Like, bro's got a house deposit in his pocket. I'm sure houses in Uzbekistan, given that it's an active war zone, probably cost a fair bit less. That being said, the housing market everywhere is in the trenches, so... I'm going to spectate this. I don't care. Four, yeah, $47,000. He can afford rent for a shed in London. <laughs> yeah, I've got the mouse click one, uh, Travel Traver. Uh, I've got the mouse click on L2 and R2. Uh, I'm getting my Hall Effect controller next week, uh, but it does end stick drift, so I think they're definitely worth it. Uh, use code TTB in the store, by the way. You'll get a fairly large discount. Let's have a look. This guy is getting hunted. Why is he not looking at the gas line? There is a dude there. I mean, I appreciate the left and right. Yeah, yeah, there we go. He's figured out. I, I actually really respect this. Do you know what? Hold up. There's, there's something to be said about him wait. Oh, he's about to fire an unsuppressed weapon. That's a terrible idea. There is something to be said about how patient he was to take that kill. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, being that patient for that kill was quite impressive. There's a couple of decent shots there. I, I probably personally wouldn't have fired because he's not going to get the kill. Um, so instead, he's kind of just announced his position on the bridge that, yeah, there was going to be someone under him. He has to finish this guy. 
or he has to go wide left. Yeah, if he doesn't get the down there, pre pressing this guy out is going to be a bad play for this dude. I think this will be the play that might get him killed. We'll see. Because now you don't know where he is. You know what I mean? This guy's had a, a fair bit of time now. There we go. He's had a fair bit of time to rotate. He knows where you are now. Yeah, it's huge. Mosquito drone on his head top. He's about to get pressed. Oh my word. Oh my word, he's better? He's better? His cock is huge? Look at how calm this man is! Dude in the chat even said GG. And you know what? Put some damn respect on this guy's name. God damn. Look at how calm this man is. The smooth. He is Himothy. I like this. He's checking his water line. People could still be in the water, so he actually does need to focus on that more. Like, you wouldn't see somebody in the water from this angle, I don't think. Oh! No, that's a heartbreaker. I mean, that's a really nice position from this guy. Like, I, I wouldn't have seen him. I wouldn't have seen him. Oh, he's stealing all of his gear as well. So this guy basically had nothing when he made that play. That's the Solo's experience, bro. That is the Solo's experience. You do an incredible, phenomenal play like that, Giza. And then you just get your ankles torn out by one of these dudes just hiding in a bush. The game's a gaming, Taylor. The game's a gaming. Um, we are... We're doing a little bit of spectating in between our games of Solo's. We've won two Solo's so far. Out of like three games. I don't know if I like the chal on the sniper rifle. I think it's better to just let the zone collapse here. So the guy in the, the sniper on the roof has to go to the left hand side of the roof because it's the only section available to him now. Or he has to jump off. Oh yeah, you got his own pool, bro. Yeah, he's still on he's still on the roof. I don't know why he's looking at there you go, he's seen him. Shot. Oh, he went through the lamppost. I think it went through the lamppost. Good job tracking him under the rail line. There's still another dude alive. That's that's the other dude. Yep. That's that's uh that's the tunnel vision for you, I'm afraid. This dude's across the rail line from him, to the best of my last knowledge. Which I think he's just started to pre-nade. Nice. And that's that. And that's that. Travel, thank you very much for the, the Twitch sub. Appreciate you. And that's how that that's how that cookie crumbles. I mean, look, if you ever feel bad about solos, if you ever feel bad about solos, just know that just know that that dude right there played probably some of the best gunfights I've ever seen towards the end from like a, an average player and just got absolutely demolished. So, you know, it happens to the best of us, folks. It really does. Nah, that guy wasn't walling. That guy wasn't walling. The last guy, like, you knew where he had been shot from, or he could see where the other guy was shooting. Um, and then on top of that, the gas line is pulling towards the circle, so it makes sense to prenade the other side of the rail track. Everything he did there made sense. Uh, so these are the weapons we're using today. For those of you who are interested, we got Bruin and we got a little HRM9, uh, which for whatever reason, the skin for this thing just loves to deactivate itself after a couple of games, which is really annoying because it's quite a nice skin. What's your opinion on scuff controllers? Uh, I personally wouldn't buy one. Um, I mean, I have a scuff, right? Like I've got... All right. I have a scuff. Um, this thing... 
the left paddle of it stopped working properly after three months. The right analog stick has small amounts of stick drift. I have not had a good experience with Scuff, and I know lots of other people who haven't. Um, that's all I will say on that front. Durability for that company seems to be somewhat questionable at times. Gus, thank you very much for the channel, Private Man. Appreciate you. What's the KD range in a solo lobby you're in? It's hard to say, really, uh, Martin. I mean, my KD is personally like three point something, four. What's the code for the aim shop? TTB, uh, Jonas. It will give you a pretty good discount. Like, I, I mean, like a really good discount. So it's worth using. Obviously, it is my own code. And yes, I do get a kickback. So just so you know. Um, but it does give you a really good discount. I, I think depending on the type of controller you get, it can be sometimes as high as like 70 to 90 euros. Uh, yeah, the same discount code applies to people in the United States. Code TTB on exclamation mark controller US in chat or controller EU. No underscore, Aethers, no underscore. Um, and you will get it. If you click on that link or use code TTB, you'll get uh, a good... a good... Uh, a good thing. A good, a good discount, usually. Just ordered, got a sixty-five dollar discount. There you go, sixty-five dollar discount on one of the orders. Just code TTB whenever you get to check out on the Aim Controller Store, uh, and it will look after you. We are going to go for who, what, 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 where. Uh, I'm actually going to go for that king. I know it's a bit rogue. Change my mind. Change my mind mid flight. Oh. Oh. I've, I've got three Maloo. I've got three Maloo. I've actually got stream Maloo. Can that red smoke please go away so people don't just ego chow me because they've seen a loadout come in? Yeah, the controllers work on PS5 shots fired. Um... This is a PS5 controller that I also use on my PS5, not just my PC. Uh, the way you rebind the buttons is in a memory board inside the controller, so it actually saves. Um, so you can you can use them on pretty much any platform. But it's compa oh my god, guys! Now nah, I've got to win this game. I've got to win this game, bro. Like I'm, uh, they're mocking it. They, they want me. They want me to win. Suffering from success, DJ Khaled. Like, what am I seeing? How does the mapping work? So basically you hold down two buttons simultaneously and it goes into mapping mode. And then you press the paddle and the corresponding button, and then you hold down the same two buttons to go out of mapping mode. It's really easy to do. Uh, and it applies across all platforms as well, so. Dead simple way of doing button mapping.
You there, good sir. Are you going to come out? Or am I going to have to come in? Don't be shy. I know you're in here. And you know I'm above you. And that's fine. Or maybe I'm below you. Who knows? The directional audio in this game is dog shit. But what if I'm at this door? But what if I'm not? But what if I am? But what if I'm not? You wouldn't hold a staircase, would you? Or maybe you would. Or maybe you wouldn't. Well, you're not being a lot of fun, so I think we're going to leave now. Oh my god, he fell for it. Friendly loadout drops on the way. I'm definitely going to die to this guy. Like, there's like a 500% chance. I've mocked it too much now. You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. What's happening here? <laughs> oh no. He had the trust issues. He had the trust issues, and I don't blame him. Oh, no. I'm going to jail, man. I've had enough. That's just put me in prison. In the pen for tax evasion. That's a really loud gun you've got there, lad. By any chance, could you make that weapon louder? Yes, please. <laughs> I'm actually watching your stream as well, man. Oh, oh, shit. That's, um, I don't know how I feel about that one. Do you mind shooting the guy to the left here? Um, I don't, I don't. That's cheeky in solos, but. Look, you know, if you die, if you die, you die, all right? Look, you know, it's, you can't sweet talk me. <laughs> Actually, the the reason I watch you guys is because you have lovely voices. I'm here for that. So Thank much you. Much better than these American streamers. Now look, you said it, not me. <laughs> right. So this other dude in this building here, the little two-story. Hi, how you doing? That's a very interesting cluster mine you've just put down. I would not want to be part of that. Um, Watch as the graceful Valkyrie soars through the air, guiding these pussy holes to the kingdom of Valhalla. I can't play. There's a lot of guys here now, isn't there? More kills. This is how it ends for you. I'm sorry. This is the, the there are better geezers trying to tell me. Guys, I'm just a man, please. We're just innocent men. We're just normal men. Guys. Gas is closing in. Get to the new safe zone. I'm 
I don't think you fellas understand how petty I am. If you think that cluster mine was just the beginning, I'm telling you there's about 75 more explosives in here. And if you, if you want to make that business decision, you can make that business decision, including you, sir, on the roof next to me. I warned you. Good drop shot, bro. What you fail to understand, sir, is that I'm an egoist. That's not good, my brother. You like a bit of slap and tickle, don't you? You like a bit of foreplay. Guys, what is it with this weird commutative shaggery we've got going on here? Guys, please. Make love, not war. I mean, the ladder's a curious choice. You do you, little bro. Guys, there are like five people here. Can we please chill the fuck out? Like, come on, what are we doing? Got gas you lot must be bannering. There are literally like five guys attacking that general location right now. And those are just the ones who are on UAV. Save 57 pounds, 57 euros. There you go. From Stuart himself. JV is bingo fuel. RTV at this time. So anyways, I started blasting. Um, and she called me the next day and said, nah, bro, that sounds like bullshit. 
Um, also, I'm going to enter this nondescript room. It would be a real shame if there was somebody in this nondescript room. Would you be in this nondescript room? <laughs> Fucking do <near> it. <laughs> Good God, people in this game. We are creatures, aren't we? There's no other way to describe it. The people who play this game are just creatures. I still don't have guns, guys. You've been spared by a sniper rifle. I'm such a sorry guy. I am actually, genuinely, I mean this passionately, chat, when I say I'm a bad person. Like, I mean that very sincerely when I tell you that right there is the worst thing I've done in Warzone and I should never be commended for it. I, 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 mean, I mean this seriously when I say if you get the offer to go watch a, a more wholesome streamer today, do it. <laughs> As a content creator, that kill... That kill might genuinely be up there with some of the worst things I've done in the game of Warzone. Guys, we all seem like good building people who like our buildings. I have an idea. How about we just stay in those buildings? God, I hate snipers. Snipers in solos, man. You just can't beat him. Like, you can't really... Well, you can't beat a sniper in solos. There's just no way around it.
Can't tell if my man's peeking or if he's teabagging. Either way, I respect your hustle. Do you know what I mean? Like, can't tell if he's just letting me know that it, it, that's how it is. Uh, it's a bug in Warzone, guys. Um, they actually acknowledged it on Twitter last night that they're looking into a fix, which is great. Excuse the hiccup. We got out of... I just want to say, we got out of a lot of sticky situations during that game. Like, during the course of that game, I think we had multiple instances of more than two to three people on a building. So... Credit where credit's due. That was a bit mad. No, you mustn't slide, sir. It's more loud than sprinting. I did not. That's not good, my bro. Because he's just heard that parachute. This was an entirely avoidable death. Just play under him. Play under him, big man. Don't bust the door. He knows where you are, obviously. Oh, nice move. He's, on, he's literally on his head. Why would you peek that? How has he peeked that? Why are you not pressing him? Jump up. So now you decide to not hardcore parkour? It doesn't work, my bro. <laughs> Morrison. Sir, please. I'm good now. Warzone's a social experiment, bro, because what the fuck am I watching? Warzone is a social experiment. It must be. It must be a social experiment. Though. You know where he is. If you'd killed him five seconds ago, like you should have six times over. Oh, broski. Lil bro doing lil bro things right now. All right, that guy up there. That guy up there has actually just sold the car, the house, the, the, the life savings. He sold it all. He sold every last cent, dime, nickel, coin. Like, what, what have I just watched? Like, this dude could have won the game just by finishing off the guy who he already downed, going on the roof and just letting everybody kill themselves. And instead, I, I think that's the hardest solo win that was entirely unnecessary. Do you know what I mean? Like, that was possibly the least necessary solo win in terms of difficulty that I've ever witnessed. That was, that was, that was something. That was something. Right, I'm gonna match make. I'm gonna put my Lodi on screen and go for a strategic tinkle. Um, I'm actually, we're going to go with the Baroon one last round and then we're probably going to have to switch it up to a sniper. So uh, I'm going to match make, strategic tinkle, see you in a second. All right, there you go. There's the gun. Do what you want to do. Bone apple teeth.
Check your gear and weapons. We'll be deployed shortly. E. 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 I don't know. Right. It's a beautiful day for losing to somebody with six pies. That's why I've heard chat. More passion, more energy, and potentially even more footwork. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. No? No. Yeah? Yeah. Shock charge, but the hip fire. There's no way he gets a hip fire kill here. Oh dear. I thought he had the bloody. I mean, to be perfectly frank, that just that is shock charge doesn't really help anything. <laughs> God damn. If I had three plates, I probably would have been fine. I just didn't have three plates, unfortunately. If I had three plates, the deviation on the shock stick probably would have been enough to me to win that fight, but we simply didn't have one. Uh, I wouldn't mind grabbing that bounty. But first, let me uh, fettle the interior of this building. Is there a man already here? Plausibly. Man, I haven't had a good bagel in a while, TMC. I haven't had a good bagel in a while. You're giving me ideas, man. You're giving me ideas. Maybe I'll have a bagel for lunch today. Why do my pets have no decorum? Look, we appreciate all formats of bread in this house, including bagels, you know? I think focaccia is definitely the most superior format of bread. I, I don't think that's necessarily a debatable subject. I think most people would just agree with me. You know? Uh, 
wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Chill, chill, chill. Are we chill, negotiating? Chill. Yeah, we can talk about that. <laughs> if you let me go, I give you 5k cash. Do you know what? Against my better judgment. Yeah, you have you got a self? You got a self? I have, yeah. Go on. Off you go. I give you 5k. No, no. 5K, don't, don't, don't need 5K. cash. You do you. You do you. I believe in you. I drop here. I drop here the 5k and leave it. Yeah, I believe in you. Bro sounded a bit fed up, so I'm going to allow him this one time. <laughs> bro, bro sounded like he was having a rough game. <laughs> Whilst I'm here, though, let me just... It was a heavy sigh, yeah, it was a heavy sigh, so I thought, you know what, we'll, we'll let this one pass. Your movement was unreal. Look, but oh buddy, oh Paolo friend. GG. Keep your head up. Return to base for debrief. Oh, he must have mounted here. No? No mountaineer? Oh, dude, was it because of the trash bags? I was expecting him to take a fair bit more fall damage from that one. I don't think he really took any fall damage from that one. We'll see how he gets on. We'll see how he we'll see how he how he how he gets on throughout his day. He didn't take a huge amount of fall damage from that at all. Could have also just shot the drone, you know? <laughs> Let's see what TTV Swag Gorilla gets up to in the game of Warzone, shall we? Gas is closing in. Relocating what do we reckon the average TTV Swag Gorilla does on a weekend of Warzone? There's a man under him. Is he... <sighs> it's the man I let live. Boy who lived. No, 
ladder. Not the ladder. Not the ladder. Not the ladder. You're going to be Stompy McStompington. You've got a shotty, bro. Just take him out in the stairwell. It's all you. You don't lose. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, this guy. This guy's got some movement. I think this guy might be really, really good. I just... I want to talk about... He baited... So, first of all, he baited... He baited him into peeking the angle. There's a ranked iridescent skin on the floor, so that should concern everybody as to the caliber of this lobby. Um, he baited him into peeking. And then looked away from the bait. But he baited him whilst he was... He baited him whilst he was on the floor below, which meant he was just going to tear his head off from the high ground. And then he obviously died. So... You know? This guy's got some good movement. This guy... This guy moves... Like he generally has decent game sense. And you can kind of tell because when he chowed me. When he chowed me out. He. Played the plates and then he played a drop shot angle. I don't know if I would necessarily be sprinting around at this caliber. Trying to identify this guy's location because you're, you're busting a lot of doors and stuff in the process. The guy he's chasing probably has a better idea of where the, this dude is than he does where the dude he's, like, then vice versa, you know? Bit windy, bit windy. It's a new gun. You're allowed to be a bit windy with a new gun. I would Yeah, he must have he must have mounted here. He must have mounted here because he took no full damage there. See, he he moves sometimes he moves a bit too much, but I'd say most of his movement isn't unnecessary movement. I know that's I know that sounds like a proper like what's the word I'm looking for? That sounds like such a a salty thing to say, but there is such thing as moving too much in solos. There, there genuinely is. Making too much noise in solos is as equal a problem to most to most things, you know. I mean, it's circle four, nearly circle five. What he should be doing really is spending this money. And then going to play positioning if he wants to win this. He's got himself a loadout drop. Maybe he's thinking about changing changing his loadie. Or this might just be ground loot that he's happened to get on the way. Oh, it is just ground loot. Okay. He's going Holger Ram 9. So he's obviously still playing for kills, and this will probably be his downfall because he's... I don't know if he's recognized yet. Okay, that twirl at the end was entirely unnecessary. Look, I love a bit of movement as much as the next guy, but that twirl at the end, complete waste of time. Good shots. Bro has definitely been watching a bit of Mare 4, yeah, 100%. I think what he needs to do now, if he wants to win this game, he just needs to pick a spot. He needs to, to use the rest of his cash, pick a spot, and go for it. Otherwise, he's just going to be Beyblading into people. And he's going to run into a couple of people soon who are going to have, like, three or four pies. That's, that's going to be the problem. He's going to run into guys who are sat in rooms with, like, two cluster mines, four pies in the kitchen sink. Can you... We can see the map now. If I'm him... 
Yeah, I'm taking second floor of bank. I'm taking second floor of bank or I'm taking top floor of fire station. If you want to win this, those are perfectly valid options, I think. Because all it takes is one of these pushes to have a guy who's, you know, got, got like some explosives on the ground and it will kill him. He's obviously a phenomenal player. I'm not trying to take that away from him. But like this guy is this guy's a really good player. But all this is going to take is... Like, like, I play aggressively. All it takes is one dude with four pies and a Discord kit, and, and it's GG. You know, <laughs> like... Guy right in front of him, staring at the floor. Love that from This guy landing on his head. Did he hear that? I don't think he heard the guy land on his head, or he did, and he's just playing very cool about it. He must have. This is gonna be super loud. Pre-aiming that with a sniper is definitely one of the choices of all time. Yeah, second story bank or top of fire is definitely a game winning position here. I knew it. I knew he was going to hit by the second strike because you saw the PA go through the building. Thankfully, he's got another res there. He, he wins this if he takes bank. If he, just, if he just plays this building, he wins this, 100%. Not if he plays down low, though. I think if he plays low, he's going to run in some trouble. Sniper behind him. Yep, on the roof. He knows that the sniper's out on circle collapse. So he should just play this patiently. The sniper the sniper has to push. The sniper has to move. He doesn't. Yeah, that's the stuff. Love this. Pre-aiming a sniper close range and not landing the shot, this is... That's not a shot you want to take. It's a good mark. That's not a fight you want right now, especially when you got this dude on the block who's now moved. Yeah, that's good patience. That's really good patience. The guy on the crane is... technically in, I think. If he walks along the crane, he is. So he's... he's uh, forced to be wrecked. Yeah, he wins this. There we go. He definitely wins this now. Like, the only way he doesn't win this at this point is if he gets, like, tag teamed by two people. So the guy on the buy station on the LTV is now rotating for sure. Yeah, play here, play here. That guy on the LTV buy station used that used that cluster strike as a re, as a means to cross. Evidently, he didn't cross in the correct direction, but it's a little bit windy there. He's cooking the nade. He's gonna go left. Yep, good nade. Great nade, even. Horrible buy station coming in on his roof, or have I lost the plot? Somebody's just gifted him a bauble. Big man, 23k. 23k! Spend that dollar! Spend that dollar, big man! Why has somebody given him this? It's a good peek. I would get a muni box for his AR. Yep, there we go. AR and nades. He knows he needs some nades here, probably. Um... Play, aim for the back corner. Don't aim for this one. Held that for a little too long. I don't think he's struggling with the recoil control. I think he's struggling with the fact that this...
That was a really good chow. That was a... On his back, on his back, on his back, on the zip. That's that is something. Um, I did say he would probably only lose by a tag team, and honestly, he he actually had control of the tag team, and it wasn't the tag team that got him killed. What got him killed was that, uh, and and this isn't even me being salty. This is me saying that that dude got lucky with his grenade. He got lucky, lucky with his um, Semtex. This dude here got so lucky with his Semtexes. So lucky. In the water, he hasn't blocked that. I tip my hat to that OP dude. That guy's just lost a mosquito. <laughs> oh, Solos is so toxic. House, thank you very much. That was a really nice side strafe by the guy who's, who's just got that kill there. I like how he didn't go for the immediate finish because he knows there's one more alive. Yeah, that, that dude got lucky with the Semtexes to kill the guy on top of Bank Roof. It's Swag Gorilla! He's alive! He lived! The guy's in the river. The guy's... There's no other position that this man is in. He's in the river, which means you should play the bridge. No, 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 sir. Senor. 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 He is, he is under you. You're panicking. He is under the bridge. He is playing the wall closest to you. Either that or he's in the skybox and it might be GH, but... Uh, yeah, he was, he, he was there. He was under the bridge. I'm telling you, he was under the bridge. He was directly under the bridge. Thank you very much for the, the sub, Hals. Appreciate you. Uh, the game hasn't crashed, but the lobby has ended. Yeah, he was under the bridge. What, what that guy, last guy was doing was hugging under the floor, like right next to him. Renetti conversion kit. What am I hearing? What am I hearing right now? What, what, what are you people trying to make me use? I don't even have it unlocked, so. Is it a weekly challenge? I'm debating doing something kind of stupid, but we'll see. Was gonna get out. They pulled me back in.
I would like to plead for forgiveness. Father, forgive me for I have sinned. Um, I'd like to apologize to the courts, the people, my mum. Uh, I'd like to apologize in advance. Should I? Should I be a bad person and put iridescent on? Should I put iridescent on the riot shield? Yeah, that. I mean, that's. That's. Yeah, I mean, if I lost to an iridescent riot shield, I think I'd be livid. Um. I feel bad about this, but I also don't, you know? I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Do you know what? I'm, I have to go a step further. Like nothing happened. You really had my back. How do you do this? How do you? So that's fast attack, and that's. The heavy attack, isn't it? I'm sorry. and riot shield. I might be a bad person. I think I might genuinely be a bad person. You're about to witness quite plausibly the worst game of Warzone I'm ever going to play in my life. And I can only apologize. <laughs> Satan rubbing his hands, Luke, waiting for you. You're up fast. We're about to get evil. Well, yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Enemy soldier incoming. Carry me. All stations, this is Shadow Zero One. I want that bird ready in three bikes. Leo's quarter. There we are. Head shit gave the green light. We're deploying you to the front lines. You're up. Grab your shoots. Enemy activity will be high. Contact early and off. I think I'm just going to prison, you know? I think the head chef did give me the green light to do this. I just I just want to point that out. Before I commence these activities, the head chef did indeed give me the green light, you know? And 
there's not much more to say to it than that. Who let me cook? Sorry. How did you not go off? See how this goes. I've apologized in advance. This is the closest I'm going to get to being cancelled. So, you know. I can practice my YouTuber apologies. What's a good common YouTube apology? Um... Sorry I didn't know I misled you on this product that I totally own shares in. Um, other common YouTuber apologies, sort of thing, sort of a gander. Um, VA, well, yeah, I'm getting the word. Um, now nah, that's Minecraft YouTube. Nah, I'm, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, dear. Throw in the line a little bit on that one. Um,. Ah, that's a good one. Um, sorry, I was an absolutely awful human being to somebody. Um, I'm going to blame it on potentially my own mental health, which now means that you can no longer criticize me. Uh, I call that the Ellen DeGeneres apology. Um, damn, how, is, how did Ellen get cancelled, man? That's crazy. Um, Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, Ellen got cancelled for a toxic workplace. Didn't a similar thing happen to Oprah? Or am, am I confused? I swear a similar... Why is it with talk show hosts and somehow just becoming toxic? Like... Right. It's time to commit great crimes. I believe I've seen my first target. Friendly loadout drops on the way. Yes, Relocating the safe zone. Dear. 
Oh dear. Lo meno lag e quindi mi li don prima. He played that surprisingly well. Anche a Messi, 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 Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. Oh, that's windy for me. That was so windy for me. It's fine. I've been spared from this lobby. I've been spared from this lobby. That was very windy for me. It's my fault. I need to get used to having a riot shield, folks. You're gonna have to give me time. I mean, look at this. Look at this valiant, obvious effort of a good person. You know? Does that not scream productive? Me I mean, my character technically has a sword on their back anyway, so... They put they put me back just when I thought I got out. Yeah, no, that's valid. That's valid. That's valid. That is a very common uh, public public person version of uh, apologizing. Sorry, I cheated on my family, wife, and four children. It was it it wasn't me. It was Patricia. <laughs> Oh dear. That wasn't me. It was Patricia. Oh dear. That's an El Clasico, isn't it? God, there must just be some sort of income tax bracket where you just become a bell end. Like it, it like It must just happen, surely. You know? <laughs> Christian Horner, is that you? I mean you're not wrong. Like, nah, PK is a special case. Anybody who cheats on Shakira, that guy, that guy might deserve jail time for that one. Like, cheating on Shakira might actually be punishable by some sort of imprisonment. Like, let, let, let's be honest. Like. Cheating on Shakira might genuinely put you straight in jail. Like, that's... It's like Jay-Z cheating on Beyonce. I mean, you know, it's instant prison. Like... You couldn't... You couldn't prison a more prison for that. Like, you know... There's just no way around it. Maybe... Maybe her ball knowledge wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe she wasn't uh maybe she wasn't a um <laughs> maybe she wasn't a what do they call them a tact uh, tactical tacticalino tactic <laughs> maybe she doesn't understand the importance of a 442 <laughs> Like near me. I had a bunch of people just parachuting around me there. Now, I'm genuinely convinced, like, I'm convinced there must just be a tax racket where it all goes sideways. 
Like, wait, th there must be an income bracket where you just decide, you know what? I've had enough. I'm just going to be a knob. You what, mate? Heads up. An enemy squad marked you as a bounty target. Are you going to come out? Or am I going to have to come in? Friendly buy station deployed. Come in, bitch. You should be a schoolmate. I mean... Come on. He did call me a beach. Come on. Where are you? Come on, I haven't got all day to look around every single room. Come on. Well, for you, is it? Oh, this man doesn't know what he's landed on. God, it's the same dude. Now look, guys. First time you called me a bitch, and look what happened. Oh, it's, it's, it's truly Babby's first day out. I mean, this very well could be more than how you might not be wrong about that. Why, why do... I've got, I've got a question for the crowd. Why do loadout drops land in locations like this? Will I beat him to that? No. What the trap? Like, so can somebody explain to me... Can somebody explain to me why my loadout drop is next to a mosquito drone? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just not ideal. Well, the loadout isn't going to work out for me because I'm not garbage at the game. And I don't know how to play like a garbage man, you know? It's worth remembering. You know, I actually play regular BR, like a regular person. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Do you want me to use corporate speak for the rest of the rest of the day? I hope this email finds you well. I need to double check that. Let me speak with. I'm not entirely sure, but. 
Let's call a email. Let's call a meeting that could have been an email. <laughs> have you spoken to X about this? Do you know what? I've always said this, like, when I finish up as a streamer, guys, I might actually be finished. Like, I can't lie. Like, it might be over for me. Like, I've listened to a bunch of my mates who, like, work regular jobs, and they'll tell me some of the things that happen in their jobs, like, oh, this guy being, like, terrible, or this guy not being a nice dude, or this guy being annoying. It's not, it's not gonna go well for me. You know, like, if, like, if I have to go back to the regular working world, it's HR every week. I'll be real. It's HR every single week. Like, I'm done. Like, I'm I'm finished. Like, if Ben from accounting starts giving it the big un, because he thinks we should all be in a meeting at 5.30 in the evening, he's just getting his jaw spun. There's no way around it. Like, there's, there's no way around it. Like, there's absolutely zero way around it. Like... If I have to listen from a Rachel from clientele explain why, you know, we should do this really fun post-work activity, but also I'm not being paid to be your mate. There's no way around it. She's getting called a bellend. Like, there's, there's just... It, that's it. It's GG. It, it very much is CEO or bust for me. It's CEO or bust for me. I'm either a CEO where I can enact my own toxic environment. I'm kidding. I wouldn't. Or it's GG for me. You know what I mean? It's, it, like, it's, it's, it's curtains. P, thank you very much for the prime on Twitch. Appreciate you. Like, I will ego chow someone at HR. It wouldn't bother me. If someone told me let's touch base over something that's pointless and stupid, they're being called a twat. There's, there's just... It's over, you know? You'll find me in the mountains after YouTube. Which is why you should become a channel member today so that I don't have to face that brutal and unrealistic reality. Cheers. Oh, bro. If somebody... Nah, just the concept of somebody asking me to touch base on something. That's it, bro. They're, they're, that's it. They're, they're getting the full... Brexit tackle just for that, bro. Like that's that's over. It's gotta be it, you know. Enemy soldier incoming. I've just killed a TTV. -er. I think that's that's the equivalent of bad luck of breaking a mirror. You guys know that Indian guy who records those videos and TikToks where it's like, where, where he like literally all his entire content is, fuck your job, leave whenever you like. Excel spreadsheets can do them another time. <laughs> that would be me. Oh, he's in the, why are you up here? I'm surprised. Hold up. Guys. 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 Why didn't the gas grenade affect him? Why? 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 Why have I just been diced? God aim just got God aimed on. Right. Now, hopefully there's no one here. 
But that parameter's already failed. Twice. Oh, for fuck me, dude. <laughs> Why are people here? <laughs> Why are there people at a gas station? He's camping a gas station by, bro. Oh my gosh. Just get me a loadout drop, man. <laughs> like, so. Oh, man. Call of Duty is a social experiment, man. It really is. It actually is. Like, there must, there must genuinely be some sort of social experimentation with COD. Like, I'm convinced this is just a, a progressive form of how far can we take group psychosis. <laughs> like... Oh, dear. People in solos are absolute creatures, man. It's a microcosm of society. And society is broken, Fen. Don't you worry. Yeah, not too bad, Blaggy. Not too bad. Um, just been chilling, really. We're, I'm the only person live today. Um, so I'll be very honest with you. I'll probably keep it a short and sweet stream, seeing as nobody else is on. Plus, I have to record sponsorship stuff for this stonking laptop over here. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. You know? Um... Hand for scale. Um, <laughs> we have to do record some Spono stuff for this. So that's on the agenda. And we will be live on Saturday around midday-ish to do things and stuff. It is a honkingly powerful laptop, I'll tell you that much. A little bit of spawn tent, a little bit of spawn tent. Check your gear and weapons. We'll be deployed shortly. Inside the brute skin. The sniper's just shooting me in the back. <laughs> Good to see you, Lars. I've been doing well. Well, I'm kind of I'm I'm deliberately streaming a fair bit more at the minute because I'm so not next week, but the week after next, I'm away intermittently i've got some stuff to do work wise i'm also so not next week the week after next i go to madrid on the friday i'll be streaming cod mobile on thursday and i'll be streaming on the monday and i think the tuesday as well i have a recording thing with the company on the wednesday i go to madrid on the friday to watch the valorant vcts and then that week that like prolonged week i'm away the week before season three i'm away um so not not next week the week after like the week after i've got like regular semi-regular streams and then the week after that i'm away so i wanted to get as much general content done as possible now nah, i'm just going i'm going to madrid to watch the valorant masters um and also it's madrid like i want to watch lots of valorant and literally go to a cool city where you can do whatever you please yes please not whatever you play. So you still have prime. Um, don't. Don't. Idolize PMC groups. There we go. Um, so yeah, it'd be cool. Um, look forward to it. Plus, like, so the thing is, right, is the big one. Season three is going to release in uh, the, the start of April. Um... Yeah. 
And the start of April will be probably the release of Big Map Ranked. And me and Jeff are going to top 250. Yeah. Like, we, we are... Provided there are no bugs or glitches, we have full intentions of playing Ranked to hit top 250. Um, so generally, I know from April onwards, life is going to be pain. So if I'm going to take a break, it's before then. If Big Map Ranks is at Big Big Map Big Map Ranks, I said that right. For whatever reason, my brain was like, "Nah, bro, you you scuffed that." Maybe I did. Um, if that releases when we think it will release at the start of season three, we're T we're T two fifteen it one hundred percent. Bro's mic was getting bombarded. Is it Big Mac ranked? Yeah. Like, and to stay in top 250, we are going to have to stream every day for at least six hours. Uh, at minimum. Minimum six hours every single day. And then on top of that, like, so when it releases, the first day will release at 5 p.m. So we won't do a 12 hour stream that day. But the day after release, we will do a 12 hour stream. We have our gear. I repeat, we know that my... Yeah, it's going to be good. Big map. Uh, playing ranked on Uzbekistan is... I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to playing it with the boys. Um, and I'm just... I'm looking forward to a bit of competition. No, no snipers. No random explosives. No cluster mines. All of the things I currently dislike about Warzone aren't in ranked, so... Textures online, all right. Are you naughty, naughty? Are you teasing me? No, no, senor, senor. Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? I respect your hustle. You should respect my hustle more. Big man. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. That's his day ruined, 100%. Bro is definitely, he is not playing COD all day. Like, that is it over. That is finito. If he had just communicated, we could have worked something out, you know? But he didn't want to do that. I know his TV. His PlayStation 5 probably resembles the inside of a car crusher. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Do I feel bad about it? Yes. Should I feel bad about it? Yes. Has it happened to me enough that I've become what I hate? Also, yes. wasn't the direction I was looking for, but... Hello? Hello? Oh, this is gonna get so toxic. beefers where is the beef folks fuck you got gas inbound safe zone relocated i'm just not seeing a lot of war you know for something called War Zone, I'm not seeing a whole lot of war. You that good, sir. downed him with a stun grenade there. I'm not sure how I missed that. GG. GG. But we'll get them back. GG, everybody. Right. Now, I think I'm going to call it there. As much as I enjoy my solo experience, I have some stuff to do today, including recording some stuff and getting it ready for um, the what you call it? Uh, the old sponsor tomorrow. So we do have a sponsored stream tomorrow. It's with Acer. There will be a giveaway for an Acer product. I'm not actually... Let me quickly double check what the Acer product is before we crack on. Um, we are giving away... Oh, alright. We're giving away an Acer Predator setup worth over £2,000. Cool. Um, contest is UK only, unfortunately. Uh, but it appears to include a laptop, a monitor, a bag, a headset, and a mouse. Um, so, there we go. Um... We are doing a little little giveaway tomorrow with Acer. Uh, we'll be showing off their new 
Um, new Predator 16 Helios laptop, which is a 240 hertz QHD display. Should be lovely. Either way, folks, see you tomorrow with all of that.